Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a pretty big drugstore haul. Uh, I haven't done a haul in a while and then I kind of took like a break from filming so I've accumulated all this stuff probably like within the past month. A bunch of it is new products that have recently came out at the drugstore. I recently went to Walgreens and CVS and I was so overwhelmed. If you are in the beauty world, you already know but there's been like so many new foundations, new powders, concealers, huge eyeshadow palettes like the drugstore world right now is filled with so many new products it was really overwhelming because i didn't know exactly like what you guys would want to see a review on or like possibly a tutorial even though i don't really do that many tutorials but i was just kind of like picking out things that i thought you guys would enjoy seeing on camera and then I realized that there was kind of a theme. I was picking super, super affordable products, which I know you guys love. And if you're new to my channel, I am just obsessed with drugstore beauty. I do like shopping at Sephora and stuff like that, but only when I really want to splurge. I think that you can find amazing products in the drugstore, and I just love that they cater to people you know, who are on a budget and the average woman. So um, I picked up a bunch of stuff. Not everything I'm gonna show you is under five bucks, but most of it actually is. Um, my Target recently started carrying Essence, so I picked up a bunch of those products. And then also some repurchases, just of stuff that I always use. So let me stop rambling. Let me go ahead and get into it. So the first product is from Wet n Wild. This is a little contour and highlight palette, if you will. Um, this was $4.99 at my local Walgreens. and. I can already tell you guys, I am obsessed with this. I am so impressed with this highlight powder. I have not used the contour shade because it's actually too dark for me because I am super, super pale. Don't let the fake tan fool you. Um, but this highlight powder is comparable to the one in my Kat Von D palette and also to the Anastasia, is it Anastasia? Or no, the Ofra under eye setting powder. This is a total dupe. It's $5. I'm telling you, it's amazing. And you guys, you get like a huge pan of this. This will last you forever. It is what I have on today to set my under eye concealer. And then, whoo, this highlight today is like on fire. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit. Um, but I love this. I picked it up literally just to see if it would be good because it was so cheap. And I find myself using this every single day. Most of these things I have used just because it's stuff I've picked up like within the past month. Um, but two products that I have not opened yet are also from Wet n Wild. This one here again is under five bucks. This is one of their new Color Icon Ombre Blushes. This is in the color, da da da, where's the color? Uh, purple Haze. This looks really pretty. It's just kind of like an ombre purple blush. I also got the peach one, which I don't have with me, but I've been using that one a lot. So I'm thinking I'm gonna like this. The peach one is actually very pigmented and I picked this up at Target. And so I also got the Wet n Wild palette, which I'm sure a bunch of you have probably seen on YouTube if you watch beauty reviews. There's also another palette that just came out like this from NYC, which is Demi Lovato's palette. Um, and this is basically just like a total dupe of the Naked palette is what I think of when I look at this. It's clearly like dupes of every single Naked shadow from the Naked One palette. And these are actually pretty pigmented. I think this was maybe in like the $7 range. Um, so not quite under five bucks, but still super affordable. The Naked palettes I believe are $52 or $50, so hello, way cheaper. Then also I got two of my favorite lashes. These lashes I've mentioned before, they're so easy to use and they have such a thin band. If you are new to putting on lashes, the thinnest band possible will make it super easy for you. A lot of people talk about the Ardell Wispies, which is exactly what these are, but these are actually the Glamour Wispies. So it's the exact same thing, but they're longer, um, which I like. I really love any type of like long lash. And the band, like it, you can see here, is just really clear and very thin. So it's really easy, especially if you put on some liquid eyeliner in case you mess up where you're putting these. It makes it so much easier for people who are newer to putting on lashes. I believe these were also in the under $5 category, like $4.99. And sometimes you can look out and find these at Walmart. Um, lately, every time that I've gone, ooh, my eyelash was stuck. Excuse me. Um, lately, every time that I've gone to my Walmart, the lash section is like completely sold out because of course everything is sold more cheaper there. More cheaper, girl, get it together. Much cheaper. Um, and I can never find lashes there, but if you can find them at Walmart, of course, take a look because they're going to be more affordable. And then I did pick up some things from Essence, uh, which I mentioned in another haul, but my Target recently started carrying Essence and a bunch of you have told me that this eye primer is really great. It's the I Love Stage Eye Primer, which is just like a nude color. Um, 
Ooh, it's actually super, super pigmented. It kind of just looks like a concealer there on your hand. It has a little doe foot applicator. Um, but I don't wear eyeshadow unless I have a primer underneath just to really enhance the color. So this one was like $3. I was also using an eye primer from Urban Decay for a while, which I think was like 22 bucks. Ain't nobody got money for that. So if this is amazing and it's a $3 dupe, that will be bomb. Um, also from Essence, I did pick up a few other things. Let me get them together okay so I picked up a lipstick first of all which I'm wearing right now 06 barely there which is just a mauve nude color which I love this lipstick was only three bucks so again perfect for my five dollar category and then I did pick up two lip liners these are actually the exact same one but they were only two bucks so I was like yes in case they sell out let me pick up two it's just like a nude mauve color. Can we sense a theme here? I'm not really into like super dark lips or like bright red lips. I just tend to stick with like nude and mauve just to like keep it pretty simple. So I really love these. They were only $2. And then I did pick up an Essence eyeliner, which I've been wearing almost every day the past month or the days that I do wear makeup. And this was only three bucks as well. It's very black, very pigmented, like, ooh, look at that. For three bucks, it's a twist up one, which is nice so you don't have to sharpen it. So um, yeah, all of these were $3 as well. And then also the last thing from Essence, it's a little dirty because I have been using this, but this is just a lash and brow gel. Um, so I usually fill in my brows with the brow bar to go with the dark brown powder, or sometimes I'll use the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which is a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz, just like a twist up. Um, but sometimes my brow hairs are still like going all over the place and I'm just like, mm -mm, no thank you. So I tend to put this gel on as soon as I'm done. It comes out in a little mascara wand and you just literally comb it right through your brows. Again, sorry, dirty, I use this today. Um, it just keeps all your brow hairs in place and keeps everything looking perfect. Um, and yeah, this was literally three bucks. So that was also another great deal. And then I picked up another one of my NYC liquid liners. Again, this is the liquid liner I've been using forever. I know I've mentioned it a bunch of times on my channel, but anytime I wear lashes, I do really like to do some kind of cat eye or like I did today, even just like a very thin line, just in case I mess up putting on my lashes at all or they're a little off place. Um, this will disguise it really well. And I believe this was either $3.99 or $4.99. It's definitely under the $5 category no matter where you get it. Next I have two things that are over the five dollar category but I wanted to throw them in here because it's just stuff that again I've just kind of accumulated. Um, this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I have not even busted this bad boy open. For the days when I do not wear fake eyelashes I really like this because it's super lengthening. So if you really want a mascara that kind of makes your lashes look more clumpy or more volumized I would definitely pair this with a volumizing mascara because it doesn't make them too thick but it makes them super super long like people will easily think that you're wearing false lashes um, and they just make your lashes look very wispy and it does hold a curl really well I haven't actually bought this for like a few years but whenever I first started YouTube I was like obsessed with this and then I got more into like the makeup world and I wanted to just try out a bunch of different brands just to kind of see how I liked them but this was always a staple in my collection so I saw this the other day and I wanted to grab it and then I picked up the NYX HD concealer which I have owned before, uh, but my fake tan did wear off, so I'm a little bit more pale now, so I wanted to pick up the shade 01, which I believe is just porcelain, uh, because I am so, so, so fair right now, um, which is this one here. So I just used this underneath my eyes to kind of brighten everything up. I did use it today. I think this was around the seven to eight dollar range and I picked this one up at Target. So then also I picked up two lip liners from Jordana. This is in the color Rock and Rose. Um, this is actually a dupe for like Whirl or Spice from MAC. It's very, very similar. It's kind of like that nude Kylie Jenner theme that everyone is going for. This is great under any type of lipstick or any type of lip gloss. It's very neutral. If you have very dark skin, this is gonna look beautiful on you. But if, you're, if you have like really pale or fair skin, you can also make this look awesome just with like a nude lipstick or a nude lip gloss um, and these were only $2.99 I always get my Jordana products from Walgreens so and then the last two things I want to mention are from Colourpop these are technically not drugstore but they're definitely drugstore pricing so you can order them online um, but it's technically not from like a local store so I'm just throwing this in here at the end for those of you who are curious um, I wanted to try out a bunch of the ultra matte lips I actually bought a bunch of colors from these but some of them are at my mom's house the two that I have with me that I purchased are Lumiere 2 which is Kathleen Light's color 
and then also Beeper. Um, I've seen a bunch of people wear these and I just really wanted to test out the formula. I've been really into trying liquid lipsticks lately. Again, figure, surprise, surprise, they're both like a nude mauve color. Um, I will give you guys some swatchy swatchy. Gosh, these are so, 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 so pigmented. I'm not sponsored by ColourPop or anything. I did purchase these and I, oh my gosh, I just love them. Okay, so we have, dun dun dun, here we have Lumiere 2, which of course was created again by the gorgeous Kathleen from Kathleen Lights, and this is Beeper. I have just seen a ton of people wear these. As you can tell, they're super pigmented. I believe they're $6 flat um, on the website, and they have a ton of colors. I also ordered two eyeliners from them, which turned out to be great. So my impression on ColourPop is that they're amazing. I know there's like a big rage around them, um, but I have seen like certain videos here and there of people like not liking the formula. So far, they've really held up on my lips. You gotta be careful on the very inner part of your lower lip. It can wear off, and then you can kind of have a line there. So you definitely do need to reapply these throughout the day. I'm not gonna say they last like 12 hours because on me they don't, but I don't have a problem reapplying them. Like I'm someone who carries a little makeup bag with my powder and with everything to touch up anyways. So it's not a big deal for me. I, like, I don't mind touching it up. Um, but I'm very happy with the formula of these. And I did also get a few other colors. Like I said, I'll try to show you guys those ones on Snapchat or something, but those are at my mom's condo because I had them shipped there and blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Um, but yeah, these are the two that I still had at my house that I want to show you guys again. Like you can tell how pigmented these are. So I believe the hype. It. So that's it for my drugstore haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel or you're just passing by or something, I would love if you would subscribe. It'll just notify you when I do make new videos. Um, leave me a comment with any type of future video requests and I will go through those and respond back to you guys. Of course, like always, you can follow me on my social medias if you would like. They're all public, um, so I will leave them down below. Also, if there's any new drugstore products that you guys want a review on or that you've picked up and that are amazing and that you think I need, definitely let me know. I would appreciate it, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!